Do you know what time it is, YouTube? It is the moment of truth. Is the noise gone? Is the noise gone? And if it is, it is time for some lovely Saturday night polls. How is everybody doing on a lovely Saturday night? Get some noise. Sorry if the wind will be too loud, but it's such a nice night. I can't I can't resist. Don't hear it there. Don't hear it there. Oh yeah, that bitch is gone. Everything feels so snug. Oh yeah. I don't know which light scheme looks better if we go like this or like this. What do y'all think? I mean, obviously, y'all can see me right now, but I think the, the two front, uh, the map lights in the front probably look a little better. But I don't know. Like the noise is gone. I think we'll rock with these. These look a little more professional. Or hell, maybe even in a post production. See, I'm gonna see how all this looks. We're gonna try it out a couple different ways. And uh, maybe in post production, I can do a night shot, night mode type thing with the with the footage or something. Cause that would be dope. It's like. This light in my eyes is a little annoying. It's not un it's not undoable. Like, I mean, I can do it, but it's just a little bit, it's a little bit of annoyance. Car feels great. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm not sure how long this little rubber grommet bushing type thing, I had to, I couldn't, there's no part you can order for that, you know? You gotta make something or kind of jerry-rig something together. But, um, we'll see how long it lasts for until it breaks or, you know, shreds up or whatever. Because, I mean, it's just a teeny little piece of rubber. I mean, it's not, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to take my inner skateboarder and uh, take a uh, an old skateboard truck and take the uh, polyurethane bushing out of it, and just like use that. And I almost had it, but it didn't have enough clearance for the to thread it. You know what I mean? It was too wide. So basically, what it came down to is I tried to cut the the bushing into a smaller one. And polyurethane, man, you cannot cut that shit to save your life. I mean, it literally will not shred up. I mean, that stuff is so solid. So solid. So solid. Sports has some issues. I mean, they fit and everything, but you have uh, some of them have sway, like even the Skunk 2 Alpha one. That one's a great header, but you have to get another sway bar. And I just don't really see the point in having to get another sway bar, you know what I mean? Like, uh, if I can find something that works with the sway bar I have, then 
I think that would be optimum because there's just not really a point to another sway bar unless we're getting something like super upgraded, you know what I mean? Like Spoon Sports or Eminem Honda or, or whoever the hell makes really good uh, uh, you know, sway bars underneath the car for DC5 because I don't want to put a, uh, a EK9 sway bar on a DC5. It's not the same chassis. I mean, just just because something has clearance doesn't make it the best option because the sway bar in this car works fine. There's there's nothing really to complain about, you know what I mean? So, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I think the 1320 will be great, though. I mean, because the reason I picked that one is it's a Toto replica. Toto, I think their, their header is pretty legit. And uh, it doesn't have a flex pipe like the DC Sports one, it has has a flex pipe. I mean, a, a test pipe, sorry. <laughs> Looking over my shoulder. But it has a test pipe instead of a flex pipe because flex pipes are gonna give out over time. That, that braided aluminum or whatever the hell that material is, it's not gonna hold up. It really isn't. So, it's kinda where I'm at right now. I mean, for 350 bucks, I mean, I'm not really trying to to break the bank on a fucking exhaust pipe, you know what I mean? A header. It's not It's not exactly like the most, uh, you know, the thing you need to get right. I mean, if I'm going to throw down money on anything, it's going to be some limited slip differential and uh, drivetrain, you know. Definitely like uh, clutch, flywheel, um, what else? K24 block, that's a pretty... It's a pretty little hefty uh, project uh, investment. So I gotta buy a TSX motor for about thousand dollars. Anywhere from, I'd probably buy a good one, like a, a one that's not too used or beat up or anything. With good internals and stuff for about twelve hundred dollars, or maybe if I'm lucky, a thousand. Because I've seen people buy them for five hundred bucks and that shit blows up or falls apart or has issues, you know. So it's kind of where I'm at with that. But yeah, there's no need to spend, like, go over the moon for an exhaust pipe. I mean, as long as the welds are good and it's solid, I mean, you should be good. You really should. Thank you for choosing Chick-fil-A, Westchester Commons. My name is Summer. How may I serve you today? Hey, how's it going? Can I get a four-piece chicken strip meal with a lemonade, please? Sure. What else for you? And then a uh, four-piece chicken strip box. Just the box or like an additional entree? Yeah, like a four-piece chicken strip entree, but not the meal. Okay, yes sir. What else for you? And then some barbecue sauce and that'll be it. All right. Yeah, hey, I just have your name for this order. Anthony. It's going to be 1276 out the window, Anthony. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Booyah. Yeah, I'm never going to say just the box ever again because clearly some people in this world... They literally think I mean just a box, an empty box. <laughs> oh my god, I'm never gonna get, I'm scarred for life. Scarred for life. Bam, bam. Oh, you can see me now, so I can turn my lights off for a moment. Booyah. Where the hell is that cute girl at? I think she's already off work. She said she was going up to the car meet, so she probably got off at like five o'clock. I'll have to come back later, tomorrow. Cause that was so confusing. Like she, I've, I've talked to her before, like uh, the other Chick-fil-A by Best Buy. She was like, is this car lowered? I was like, yes it is. Do you like cars? And she's like, I love cars. I was like, hey, we can be friends. But yeah. She was the one that told me about the car meet tonight, and I checked on the site on a Virginia Car Club or whatever, and it actually got canceled tonight because of the weather. I got to admit, though, this Chick-fil-A, this little turn right here is tight as shit. I'm not trying to curb my wheel every time I come through here.
true story, y'all. Man, I cannot wait to get some pulls in. And I cannot wait to fix this throttle body and the idle air control valve. That's the only thing left we have to tackle. And then we are good. Probably strut too. My struts. So I've had these new speed springs on here. And they I don't have you no know, like county adjustables shocks. I need to definitely up my shock game. God, can y'all hear that idle? That sounds horrible. I definitely need to clean out the throttle body. I think the idle air control valve's acting up because of all the fucking carbon in this uh, in this throttle body, probably. All the carbon and blow by and all that stuff. I really need a breather can. Like, I don't care if you're, like, you know, turbo setups are gonna do oil catch can or whatever, but, uh, I mean, a breather can for a, for a Honda's, or any motor that has, you know, P PCV and like a crankcase ventilation type system. I mean, that shit is, why would you want that in your motor? They're like, oh, so you can burn more fuel efficiently and, you know, reuse the fuel fumes and the carbon, all that shit. It's like, it's gonna fuck up your motor. Like, that's the dumbest design ever. I know people want better miles to the gallon, but I mean, for in terms of uh, reliability and performance and, and the longevity of your motor's condition, and health I mean who the hell wants to have to you know clean out their motor because of carbon and blow by like that shit is stupid that's where I'm at Ooh, AC is chilly that is some nippy nippy tie nippy tie y'all don't mind me sitting here eating my food. We'll have a nice chat. Nice sit along. Bow wow. Y'all are probably so bored of seeing me eat four piece chicken strip meals. Oh my god. Man, that idle is so fucking low. Gotta turn the AC on just a little bit. sitting at 650 right now way too low way too low Bobby but hey what can you do one step at a time through the food at this fucking Westchester Commons over here fire. It is fire. So 
Come on, little sauce. Do your thing. But yeah, I'm getting real excited about building this car back up. It's had a lot of, a lot of tribulation and trials. I mean, I've done some stupid shit to it. And other people have done a lot of stupid shit to it. Like, I must have bad luck or bad car karma. Not that I've really done anything to deserve bad car karma. But, I've had some girl in a Jetta just destroy the back end. Had to rebuild the back end. When I was in high school, I hydroplaned and fucked up the front, ran into a tree. I went around a left elbow turn in the rain and spun out. Did a 360, went down in the drainage ditch, hit a tree, and did another 360. And I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, and I didn't get a scratch on me. That makes no sense. The only thing I... Well, I did get a scratch on me, but, like, really not as bad as you think. The only thing I got hurt by was the airbag burning my hands because of the, uh, the projectile, like, gunpowder or whatever shoots it out. That shit burned the skin off my, the inside of my hands where I was holding the wheel, which is, like, insane. I mean, literally. It was the only thing that happened to me. And then after that... Like, I got this car when I was in high school. Super lucky enough to get this car, because this was one of the nicer cars in the high school parking lot, I'll tell you that. People were like, how the fuck did you get that? I was like, badass grandparents hooking it up. Because my family, like, rich or poor or whatever, we're not rich by any means. Like, you would think, like, oh, you're so rich, you got a DC5 in high school. We're well off, we're in somewhere in the middle, I'd say, but we're a car family, like, auto body shop, like, we love our cars, so, like, they wanted to go out with a bang and get me something, like, I really liked, and it was up between this and an S2000, and I actually picked this, because I, I first I picked the S2000 convertible, it was a light blue one. I sat in, and I loved the gearbox and everything, and I was like, oh my god, I want this. And I want to build this into a race car. And my, my granddad was like, fuck no. <laughs> he was like, if you get this, you're not doing anything to it. Then I looked over at the Type S, the DC5. I was like, what about that? Can we do some stuff? Can we do some work to that? He was like, eh. He was like, okay. So I, I went with the DC5. And in all fairness, I really think, uh, I think it suited my needs more. Like, the S2000 is badass, but it was like 13 years ago, it was an AP1, and AP1s have so much problems, I hear, like, they really have some issues, and the AP2, they seem to clear that up, so, I think all fairness, DC5 is really where it's at for me, something about it just seems like at home. I mean, it's a hatchback. It's got tons of space. I used When I used to play music and be a drummer in bands and stuff, you can fit two drum sets in the back of this motherfucker. I mean, literally any... You wouldn't be able to do that. So my apologies. I thought I had enough space on my phone. My fucking phone cut off. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, back when I was a drummer, you know, I could fit two drum sets in here. So... You could never do that with an AP-1 or any two. You can barely fit two people in an S-2000, you know? So. That's kind of why I chose the GC-5. I had other things in mind than just, like, a performance car. So. That's where I'm at. That's why I chose it. But, like. I mean, it just had a rocky road from the get-go. I mean, the clutch burned out. We bought it used, 32,000 miles on it. Whoever the hell owned it before put rock chips in the windshield and the hood. Clearly couldn't drive stick right or something or just wore the fuck out of the clutch because the clutch went out so fast. 
I mean, I wasn't like the most skilled driver when I was 16. I knew how to drive stick fine, but like my first week, I was wheel hopping and doing all kinds of crazy shit. And yeah. Man, this AC is working phenomenal. It's usually kind of lukewarm, but it's just chilling. It was like an ice box in here. But what else? Um, yeah, I think setup wise, like what I'm, I'm aiming for. Obviously, intake header exhaust. Already got a reflash. I think after that, we're definitely going a uh, Type R manifold. I'll probably suck it up and, and do the machine work and port it out and chop that thing off the side to make it clear. Then, honestly, um, I kind of want to work backwards and get new suspension, get, you know, 32 way adjustable coilovers. Or at least new shocks for now. Like, probably new shocks first. And then coilovers later. Because, I mean, the car handles well. It's dumped. I like the way it looks, you know? So. With me, money's not... It's not like money is no object, you know? Like, I, I have to save up for a while. It's going to take a while. Painting pictures and... Uh, Selling shit on eBay is, is not exactly the most uh, profitable. I mean, it's profitable, but it takes it takes time. I have some items sitting up on eBay that have been up there for six months, and then some will sell in a week. You know what I mean? So, in due time. Oh my goodness. I rarely ever eat food in my car, but tonight's the night. As long as I don't touch anything with greasy hands. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Some Venetian snares. <laughs> Everybody loves like dubstep and like techno and stuff like this, but this is like, to me, Venetian Snares is beyond dubstep or techno or electronic music. He's like, it's like the fucking Mozart of electronic music. Everyone's like hot for a Apex Twin. I love Apex Twin. I keep talking. Apex Twin too. I mean, Apex Twin's a pioneer. Richard David James has been around for a hot minute. But this guy's, this guy's been right next to him, you know? He's been in, like, early 90s, been doing this. I just find his samples and chops and arrangements to be way more interesting. vegetarians out there they are watching me eat chicken right now don't get me wrong I know the difference between killing animals and not killing animals and hurting animals and stuff but I grew up with meat I have somebody that went vegetarian for a few years just eating nothing but cheese pizza <laughs> and that's totally fine and dandy but I need my protein and I really don't even want to sound like a jerk but Literally, me not eating meat is not going to help these animals. Somebody's going to eat these animals. So, I mean, I know it's like, oh, you're perpetuating this chain of 
meat eating and all that stuff. You're you're prof they're profiting off of you. It's like no, nah, there's there's ten billion people in the world. That, it wouldn't matter if I quit, you quit, and everyone we know quit. They would still sell meat and people would still eat it. You know, so this is just simple and it keeps me like this fast food is so healthy. Like I love Mexican food, but you cannot pay me to go to fucking Taco Bell. Or McDonald's or Burger King or any of that shit. Like, no way. I'm trying to eat fast so we can get some poles in. Must be some kind of like high school band or something. I see four school buses and a bunch of kids in the same outfit. Yeah, they definitely gotta be like high school band or something or orchestra. back to this car after you wash it this motherfucker looks sexy i mean she, the old girl's got some miles on her huh? my paint ain't perfect my i still gotta get my type r wheels repainted and shit like that but i mean this old girl's sexy looking good in satin silver metallic girl ain't that the truth Oh, yeah. The belly is full. Oh, the deed has been done. I think how the fuck I get out of here. It's the only thing I don't like about coming over to the shopping center. It is straight up confusing. I think we just go out this way. It's like a roundabout and all that. It's like a fucking maze. Ooh, I better turn that AC off. That shit's cold.
that wetness was not getting around. I was trying to do a little spin out for y'all. That bitch was like not having it. <laughs> I realized my headlights weren't on. That's bad. Yeah, that noise is completely gone. Completely gone. is Pi Tech. <laughs> is that like Pi College? tell y'all about so like I'm going with the setup I'm going with kind of I know like it's not gonna be a budget built by any means it's gonna be thousands of dollars but if if money were no object in a heartbeat in a fucking heartbeat my setup would be if money were no object would definitely be K20A type R motor but then turbo it like, I know it's a high compression motor, but I would, I would get that bitch up to 500 horsepower and do some, uh, some serious boost. I'd, I'd keep it daily driver most likely, but, uh, definitely probably get it sitting on about maybe 15 to 16 pounds. I think 12, 12 is like super daily driver, but like a mod, let's say a moderate daily driver, like borderline between a track car and just a daily driver I would definitely have it sitting on like 15 or 16 pounds I think that would be appropriate and uh, hoping like at 15 or 16 pounds like depending on what size turbo like uh, hope to make between 450 and 500 horsepower because so I think that could be that could easily if money were no object that could totally be done i mean you could probably even get it up to 600 horsepower like at 18 pounds of boost or something but um i mean with type r transmission upgrade the uh the type r lsd to a a quiet or a cusco or a really nice lsd you know not a fucking poor man's lsd as a uh, dc5 civic likes to call it I mean, at this point, any LSD is good for me. I'm not going to be picky about that. I mean, Type R trainee, aside from the LSD, I mean, the gears are stronger. The synchros are stronger. Forks are stronger. Every aspect of that transmission, you really don't hear about too many people having an uh, issue with a, a Type R transmission. Now, Type S transmission, on the other hand, oh boy, let me tell you, I've had all kinds of fucking problems with Type S transmission. Clutch flywheel, second gear, fucking synchros, like, I mean, the list goes on and on and on, so, I mean, I would much rather throw the money down, like, people are like, dude, you gotta buy a thousand dollar header, it's like, dude, it's a fucking piece of exhaust pipe, as long as it's welded and it's clearing and it's not shuddering or vibrating and the welds don't break, who the fuck cares, as long as it doesn't sound like a piece of shit, I mean, that's about it, you know what I mean? So, 
transmission is really where you like the drivetrain and the valve train and you know internals of the block and stuff like that that's where you want to that's where you want to go crazy like get get your fucking block sleeves get some type r pistons or you know whatever pistons you like that are gonna work for you and get you a good power gain and better like fucking rods and and sleeve like i already said sleeve but um you know and the valves and valve spring retainers and all that stuff like upgrade that so you can you know maybe like to like a 98 psi word of advice to the wise let's see if we can get this shot right Kind of like that shot, actually. That'll work. My phone died. Don't let your phone die. Especially if you got a phone charger in the car. Just plug that shit in. But yeah, time for pulls. I was literally getting to pull area. And that shit died. Fucking car's making... like It sounds like my axle's making noise. My wheel bearing's making noise from me doing that fucking little water skid thing so I was like I wasn't wheel hopping but like I was spinning and that shit like made a funky noise or it might just be that torque dampener because it's not making noise it might just be vibrating metal on metal on one side I am not sure That shit right here. That shit did not sound right at all. I'm not even. That did not feel right. That that shit backed the fuck off. I don't trust that at all. That shit was so sketchy. What? I'm gonna have to ask y'all some of that shit later. Like, what the fuck? Why would fuel cut? It cut about... It cut about 7,800, I think. That was when I saw it back off and go... Boom! 
mean, that shit backed off. I'm talking backed off, y'all. Maybe it's not happy with me. I have no clue. shit acted funky dude that is not good i'm god i'm glad i got that on film though at least because that is not that is not good at all i mean i got a full tank of gas why like why do we have something like that cause what just happened is my fucking concern because like I don't want to blow up this motor or anything like that you know what I mean like or snap a time and chain or or fucking mess anything up you know what I mean but my fucking car's new rev limiter is 8600 and that shit fuel cut it's 7800 I mean even stock fuel fuel cut on a stock type S ECU is like 8,300. That's fuel cut. Like, not rev limiter, but fuel cut. I'm straight worried. I don't I don't know what the fuck to do with that. Seriously, man. That's some fucked up shit. Nonetheless, cleaning your car does not make your car fucking mean. Might look mean, but something is clearly wrong with this car, y'all. Something is clearly not par. I'm just not even sure what the hell that could have been. What would have caused that? I'm in disbelief. 
I was gonna take y'all for a fucking night ride down one of the sickest fucking back roads in VA. And this motherfucker is acting like a retard. Irony is my idol's really good right now. This car is so fucking temperamental. We'll figure it out.